Now I want to grab those four pictures that we brought in earlier to show off some future levels that we may design. So I'm going to click on the first one, shift click on the last one so it selects all of them and drag them all four into my scene. They are way too long. So what we need to do is just go through one by one and make them shorter. Probably about one second each sounds pretty good. Then we can just move them all together and get ready for our next step. If for any reason your pictures come in too big, what we can do is click on the asset in the timeline, right click it, and go to scale to frame size. This will make it so that it appears as it should on the screen. Now I want each of my background images that I brought in for future levels to do a really cool zoom effect. The way we do that is to click on our asset in our timeline, go to our effect control panel, and look for this, the uh, scale option. We want to make sure our time slider is on the first frame of this sequence and click on the scale icon. We'll see a keyframe up here. You can see it right here, right behind the blue line. Now we want to move it forward to the end of the sequence and type in 200. This will create another keyframe at the very end with a very zoomed in shot. Maybe 200 was too big. Let's go back and do 150. Now we should get a really cool zoom in animation on our sequence. We want to do this for all of our sequences. 